guess when you see the numbers uh, official or close to being as official as we can. Pat, jo uh, thanks for the time. A mega deal for the Big Ten, a commissioner who has taken a lot of heat, uh, is taking a victory lap today. Good afternoon. Yes, sir, Paul. Yeah, uh, momentous, busy day, but uh, it's been something we've been waiting on pretty much all summer. And as you said, I think we had a pretty good idea what it was going to look like. But when you see seven billion plus dollars, uh, that that gets your attention. So many things stand out. So uh, let's talk about the fact that you're, there's three there's three networks involved. The, the money is enormous, and I know our fans here in the SEC, we, we, we can beat our, our chest with the best of them, but how do you compare and contrast uh, the most dominant league in, in modern sports history in college football, but the numbers are significantly less for the SEC ESPN deal, which hasn't even gone into effect yet? Yeah, right. Uh, you know, I mean, you, you have to acknowledge and give credit to the massive fan bases in uh, the Big Ten. You have to acknowledge the size of the markets with, you know, Chicago, now Los Angeles, and to a degree New York, but, but you know, plenty of other big places also, uh, you know, Cleveland, Cincinnati, Detroit, uh, you know, on and on and on throughout that league. So, you know, they've got a lot of fans. They're very passionate. Their football isn't as good as the SEC, but it's very good. And uh, they've got a lot to, to sell and a lot to market and a lot of people that want to watch their games. Pat, one of the questions, uh, and I, I, I don't know, and I, uh, I certainly want to hear your thoughts on uh, where, where is CBS? We know uh, a lot of SEC fans are, are ready to see them go. Uh, they're, they're the main bro broadcast partner this year with the 330 game, and they're, they're still on for next year. Uh, could that change with, with them now doing Big Ten games in in 23 as well or are we locked in i think they're locked in you know i, I don't think that's going to change you know how exactly they slice up that pie will be interesting you know i mean is it still does the sec have that 330 primacy uh window and the big 10 works around it one thing i think they can do you know usually that window for sec games doesn't kick in for a few weeks into the season so Maybe they put some Big Ten games there in 2023 at 3.30 to start the year, you know, the first two or three weeks of the season before giving way to the, to the usual SEC spot there. And, you know, you maybe work some in, whether it's prime time or whatever. But it will be a delicate balance for sure. They've got seven games next year, and then they, they kick in with the full package in 2024. And, you know, then everybody will be free and clear to go on their way. Joined by Pat Forty of Sports Illustrated. Uh, Pat, uh, the question that, that was not answered today is what happens next? There's Notre Dame out there. There are uh, rumors of expansion that have existed uh, really for a couple of years uh, with OU in Texas and most recently with SC and UCLA. I, I know nobody said anything about that today. Well, well maybe they did. They opened it. I mean, the door is open. But what, what, are, you, what are you hearing in not so official uh, conversation? Yeah, in pre-reporting that story, I mean, I was told flatly, we are not done expanding. Now, there wasn't a lot to back that up, like a year, two years, five years. There was no timetable. There were no specific targets, per se. But I do believe that the Big Ten has its eyes on some more properties, what, whatever those turn out to be. And, you know, I think the SEC probably does as well, because you can't just sit still and uh, the way things are going in this two-conference uh, arms race, so to speak. But, uh, you know, the... the 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 desire i think is there to come as close as you can to monopolizing as much of the country in a way that you're still going to be bringing in the same amount of dollars per school uh that's where the tr the calculus gets tricky obviously notre dame's a no-brainer if notre dame comes and notre dame says we, we want stanford as a plus one i think the big 10 would do that happily stanford doesn't generate a ton of revenue but it's a, a you know academically super elite school with connections to every major tech company in California and in the world, really. So they, they would be attractive as a plus one sort of thing. Obviously, Oregon and Washington are out there. I don't think Fox is like sitting there dialing as people saying, oh, we got to have those two. But if you if USC and UCLA feel strongly about, hey, we need some some other West Coast teams, maybe you, you consider that. But it, it's, it's there's a lot of gray area out there. But I do believe that the, the Big Ten does have its eyes on, on more schools. 
Pat Forty with us from SI, uh, talking about expansion, talking about so many uh, aspects. Pat, before we move to the next subject, and there are a couple of them, just in terms, we talked about the dollars overall, but if you compare and contrast when all this goes into effect, what the schools in the Big Ten will be getting annually from these TV deals versus the SEC, what, would the, what, would, what does it look like? In terms of the difference between them right now? Yes. Um, yeah, you know, that, like for the next couple of years, it, it, it'll be negligible. Um, you know, they, as I was told this repeatedly, you know, this will be a slow kind of ramp up. Years three, four, five, six, seven, the dollars start to really jump up. And I think that you, they will probably average, you know, somewhere 60, high 60s, low, low to mid 70s millions per year uh, per school. So how far behind that is the SEC? Eh, you know, right now maybe sitting at 20 million behind but we've still got to factor in what texas and oklahoma are going to fully do to the to the market and and how that's going to change things and then also are there any other moves still in the sec's bag so yeah i think it's advantage big 10 but i don't think it's anything drastic that is going to you know put the the sec in a position oh my gosh we can't compete with the big 10 they're already they're, they're better than they are and the big 10 still trying to catch up yeah, the SEC office may have to go to Nick Saban and say, listen, we don't care what your age is. You have to coach 10 more years. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.